now ready for the dark card variant. Again, as in the other variations, the foundation rules apply. The only difference now is that instead of the dark cards being only negative 10 against your opponent, now they have special abilities that also come into play. Now, in your deck, you have a dark background. These are the instructions on how to play that. And you also have the example of the counter cards. From a non-player card perspective, there is a resource card for everyone to have. There's four in the deck, and I'll show you which card and what the counter is, um, if there is a counter. All right, so let's start in on the dark cards. The first dark card we're gonna cover is the Banshee. And if you look underneath, it'll say advanced game removes a human from play. So that means I discard her just as normal, but I get to choose a human that she targets. To know if it's a human or not, look in the upper right hand corner. Some cards have a little circle in, with pink and a, and a white female or with blue and a black male. Other cards, like this one, have nothing in the corner. So this is not a human, even though there's a human uh, art on it. This is a goddess, not a human. She can't be killed. But these are humans, again, denoted by the little icons here. So those are the cards that can be targeted with a black discard. Okay, so now I have already done my capture and it's time for my discard. In the basic foundation game, I discard, and it just is 10 against the other player. But in the dark powers variant, we use its advanced power. Now a banshee in Irish mythology is a wailing woman, and she, when she wails, you know that someone will be dying. And typically, it's a person in the family. So I am going to get to choose, since I'm doing the discard, which human is going to die. And in this case, I am going to choose Cucullin, not only because he's a human, he's worth good points, but he's also part of a scale. So the Banshee goes against my opponent for 10 points, but it also kills the human, and the human card is placed out of play. It's my opponent's turn, and since she doesn't have anything to capture a card down the tableau, she's going to flip a card. She does have something to capture that, and so she's going to play it, and now it's time to discard. She's going to discard the Dullahan against me. Now the Dullahan basically calls forth the soul of those that are ready to die, but gold can stop the Dullahan, unlike the Banshee where nothing can stop her. Gold can stop the Dullahan. Now, in play, whoever plays the card gets to choose which human. She is choosing Finn the Cool. Now, the question is, do I have gold to stop her or not? Now, the gold must actually be one with a black background. This is a treasure card. Notice these have music backgrounds. Only the black, because it actually has gold in it, can stop the dull hand. If I have one of these gold a background treasure with the black, I can pull it from my hand, stop the Dullahan, keep my human, and the Dullahan goes out of play. If I do not have a gold treasure card, then the Dullahan would take away and kill, basically, my human card. Now, there are two different, note, make sure you notice the difference between the two cards, only the black based can. Now the question is, what if I had this down in my hand when the Dullahan was played against me? I cannot use it if it's already out. It must be in my hand, removed right away to go against the Dullahan. If it's already down, the Dullahan still can kill my human. All right, it's my turn. I'm going to capture a landscape card and now I'm going to discard. I'm going to discard against my opponent, Dirk Durr. Now, Dirk Durr kills a man in play, not just a human, but a man. Quick story about Dirk Durr. She was a beautiful woman, but her father forced her to marry an abusive husband. She ends up committing suicide, but every anniversary of her death, she comes back 
and she takes revenge on men. Now, the only way to stop Dirk Dur is by putting stones on top of her grave. And so that is why a stone card can stop her. So I'm going to discard um, her as my discard. I get to choose which man, only a man. And remember, the men have the blue background with the black silhouette of the man. And I'm going to choose her warrior because he's part of a scale. He's 10 or 20 points. So Dirk Dur is going after the warrior. Now, the only way she can stop him is by having a stone suited card in her hand and playing it again. Oh, does she have a stone card in her hand? She does. And actually, she has a 20 pointer. That one works. So the stone stops Dur Dur, and Dur Dur is now out of play. Not only does she save her warrior, but she gets an additional 20 points, plus it's part of a scale. It is now her turn. She still can't uh, capture anything on the tableau. So she flips a card, stone. She does have a stone to match, and she's going to discard. She's going to discard Queer Hanok. Now, Queer Hanok is a, the mother of Satan, basically, the mother of the devil. And her and St. Patrick battled for three days and three nights where St. Patrick finally did defeat her. So she, her power is to lose a turn but St. Patrick can stop her. So she's gonna play against me for me to lose a turn. If I don't have St. Patrick in my hand, I lose a turn and she gets to go again. If I do have St. Patrick, then I can stop Fortunately, I have St. Patrick. I'm able to stop Queer Hanok, and Queer Hanok goes in the discard pile. Now I have 20 point St. Patrick. Right, it's my turn. I'm going to go ahead and capture, and I am going to play the puka against my opponent. Now, the puka is a type of fairy, and basically they they wreak havoc. They mess up people's fields. They run off with humans. They don't necessarily kill them, but they just wreak havoc. And so, the special power of the puka is it puts a human card back into the hand of the opponent. And since I'm the one doing the discard, I get to choose which human. In this case, I am going to choose the warrior and hoping that she's not able to get it back into play. So the only thing that stops a puka is the wild fairy. So let's see if she has a wild fairy. Looking at her hand, she has a wild card. It's a leprechaun, but it's not a fairy. Only the fairy can stop a puka. So the warrior card then goes back in her hand and she keeps the puka as negative 10 against her. All right, it's my opponent's turn. Again, there's not much there on the tableau. She can't capture anything, so she's gonna go ahead and flip the card. In this case, she can't capture unless, except for her wild card, but it's too low, so she's gonna leave it and it's time to discard. Now she's gonna discard the changeling against me. Now a changeling is an ugly fairy baby. So basically the fairy exchanges their ugly baby for a beautiful human baby. So the changeling's power here is to switch places with a human. The whoever's using the card gets to choose which human. Remember there are icons that show. So she's gonna take St. Patrick at 20 points. Now the only way to stop the changeling is if you have the fairy wild card. If you don't have the fairy wild card, then basically it swaps places. So she's going to give me the changeling and she's going to take St. Patrick. Now, if I do have the fairy, and it must be the fairy, not the leprechaun, if I do have the fairy, I immediately play it. Now, the cool thing here is the fairy doesn't just get rid of the changeling but it puts it now into my control and I now get to use it. So I'm going to look and see what she has. Unfortunately, she has no, oh, there's one man. So I'm going to take the fisherman and leave her with the changeling. It's my turn again. I'm going to capture a legend and it's time to discard. Now we've already talked about the Banshee and there is no counter card, but what if there are no humans to kill? Because in this case, she doesn't have any humans left. 
So it just simply becomes a negative 10 against like in the foundation game. Just as in the foundation game, when you're playing the dark powers variant, whoever goes out first stops the play. You count up all the points, including negative 10 for any dark card that you have, and whatever's left in your opponent's hand is counted against them.